Do you want to know how to animate in live 2D? I can help you. So first thing you have to do is actually make a model out of the thing that you want to animate. Right now I have this tail. I made an emote out of it. I will show you up on the screen in a second. You can just make a new file and you don't really have to use all this other stuff. You can delete it if you want, but really what you're trying to do is make a new parameter with the animation on it that you want to see. I have one parameter that just makes this tail go up and down, wag back and forth. In that parameter, I do have a lot of items, but as long as you know how to make something move around in Live 2D, we're on to the next step. Okay, so first thing you want to do once you have animated the thing in Live 2D is to go up here to this model drop down and hit form animation and you will now be in the animation window. So I want this tail to wag. We're trying to make an endlessly looping GIF here. So what you do is drag this up here down into the timeline and you can just press OK. If you want to change the dimensions, you can go over here and just uncheck fix aspect ratio. And I want this to be a Twitch emote, so for now I'll put it at a thousand by a thousand because that is the size that I made the original PSD in. If you're making a GIF, you're going to want to take the item that you're actually animating. You need to fit it inside of this box, this bounding box, or else the animation will cut it off. This is all you're going to see, and so you need to position it properly. If you are doing an idle animation or something that goes into a live 2D model and you're not making an emote or a GIF or something, you can just leave it like like that. Like it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be inside the box. That is only if you are exporting it from right here as its own animation. There's a drop down right here. You just open that up and then you have a whole list of all the parameters that you have set up with this model. So I made a new parameter called tail wag and I can ignore all of these other ones. This is if I was making a full actual model. So this is your timeline. You have all of this stuff over here and you have your parameters right over here. Here is your timeline and it is literally a line of time. That is the best way I can think of conceptualizing it. So if you want something to happen at one second, you can drag your marker all the way to one second and then click at whatever point on the parameter that you want to happen at one second. So let's say I want it to wag this way. And if you go to graph editor, you can literally see what these keyframes are doing. You're going from a neutral point right here all the way to the middle wag and then back to the top wag. Obviously that's not the proper animation, so let's get a good animation going here. First you want to start at the default and then you want to just give some time. And you can always click back on that keyframe and change it. So we want it to be like right at the default. I'm going to give a, a few seconds and then I'm going to go to the right to this keyframe and then I'm going to go over here to the right all the way to the right. And if you bring this marker back, you can see that now the tail is going down and then staying there. So this is all just empty time. This this whole white space is the time that your GIF or your animation will be. So in order to shorten this and make it the actual time you want it, you want to drag this duration box, this little gray box, you want to drag it all the way over and stop it right where you want it to stop. And now when I click play, it just completely loops over and over again this batch of animation. And if you want to export your animation, you can just go up here to file, export image movie, and you have all of these options here. So in order to make a full tail wag, what you really want to do is drag your orange bar up here. This is your true work area. You want to drag the duration window a little bit back, and then you want to make sure that you drag this orange bar at the top out to the proper time or else it's going to cut off at the end of that orange bar. If you just go to a point and select any point on this parameter, it will put a keyframe down. If you want to get rid of those keyframes, you can right click and cut the keyframe or delete the keyframe. You can also move them around at will. You want to start with the default keyframe, drag it over a little bit to the right, middle right, drag it over a little bit more, rightmost, and then we're going to go back to the middle right, drag it more, back to default, and then once we're past default, we're going to go back to this middle left keyframe, put it there, 
and then we're gonna do the leftmost keyframe. And now you have an actual full tail wag. But it's a little wonky, right? Like it's the the timing's not really there, and it's not looping perfectly. So what you want to do is we're going to drag this orange bar out a little bit more, and we're going to go back to the leftmost keyframe that we put down here, make another one, go back to the middle left, and then make one more returning to default so that your first keyframe and your last keyframe are exactly the same so that when it loops, it's starting and ending at the same point so it's a seamless loop. Now, if you want to change the timing, you want to add more punch to your animation, you want to make it a little more believable instead of this wonky slow tail wag, you can drag the keyframes anywhere you want and make it as fast as possible. So I'm just going to drag these all together. And this will shorten the animation and speed it up a lot because instead of taking a full second to do the loop, now it's only taking half of a second. Now, but we have this extra excess at the end and we want to drag it back, drag this orange bar back, drag the duration back. And now we have a perfect looping animation that again, you can just export right up here. Export image movie, GIF animation. You can click before the timeline and drag and highlight all of your keyframes. And let's say you want it to be a little bit faster. You want to go down here to this button, adjust spacing of the selected keyframes. I'm going to click this and then you have this window. You can adjust the intervals and make it, let's say 120% and then I'll click apply and it'll make it slower. So I've got a slower animation, but I want to make it faster. So let's make it 75%. I started here and they crunched down to here. So now you have a much faster animation, but you have to make sure you reset your duration properly so that it's looping at the right spot. And you may want to move keyframes around to make parts of the animation smoother or timed properly. And that's it. If you have any questions, I will totally be free to answer them underneath this post. Um, have a great day, guys. Bye.